Hi, Patrick Cooch talking to you from the Open Compute Project Summit in 2015. Today I'm going to be showing you our latest switch technology called Red Rock Canyon and how it's being used. So over here we have a snapshot of uh, some four physical servers that I have, or four physical chassis that I have. A chassis looks like this. It has four of these compute sleds in it. Each one of the sleds has a dual Xeon in it and it is connected, each one of these, uh, these sleds are connected to the Red Rock Canyon over PCIe connections instead of a traditional Ethernet connection. And how that works is, is that in this design, the, the, uh, there's a mid-plane that connects the Red Rock Canyon to the, the server sled and uh, when the server boots up, it goes and probes its PCIe config space and says, oh, I have an Intel NIC here, basically. So I'm going to load the device driver for it. And uh, the host OS doesn't know that it's a switch, necessarily. It just is going to send and receive data. When the data is transmitted over PCIe to the Red Rock Canyon, the Red Rock Canyon receives the data and it is then treated as Ethernet traffic and switched. So if you configure a Red Rock Canyon switch, to do uh, routing or you want to uh, add a VLAN or VXLAN or whatever you want to do, it'll do that for it and then it'll route it to the next server, whether or not be in the same exact chassis to another uh, server on a PCIe connection or outside the box through a physical cable. So in this case, we have four of these uh, RSA or OCP server chassis, each of them with four of these sleds. And the, the top and the bottom ones are each doing north-south traffic to each other over a 100 gig cable, while the middle two servers are doing traffic east-west. So what that means is, is that on the top two servers, the data is coming in and out physical ports, but while the middle two servers the data, we're still doing almost 100 gig back and forth over PCI Gen 3, but there's no data coming out any physical ports. It's all within that chassis because this is the internal switch is being used. While if you look at the top and the bottom servers, you can see that the data is actually going out of physical port. Now, part of the beauty of uh, Red Rock Canyon is, and what we're doing is, is not only do we have the, the, uh, the controller that will be released later this year, we have the ONP switch software. ONP switch software is composed of two parts. The first one is the control mechanism for the switch itself. Rather than creating our own proprietary uh, command line interface to control the switch, what we've done instead is we've taken the device driver for the switch and we've integrated it with a driver into Linux itself. So you can treat that switch as any other Ethernet device. So you can use standard commands like I'm going to do. I'm going to bring a switch port down. So I'm going to bring this first switch port here down and you'll see that that link goes down and the traffic is routed over a different protocol. Now I did this with the standard IP route 2 command to, to bring ports up and down. You can do other things, you can get Ethernet stats, you can you know set VLANs, you can do anything you want on there. This is within the control plane processor that's controlling that switch. So this, this uh, SSH session I have here has the uh, ONP switch software on it that is integrated. Now you notice when I took that link down, the traffic was routed over a different path. That is the other part of the ONP switch software that is going to be open source as well, and that is the DCRP. That is the Data Center Reachability Protocol, and it's a, it's a, it's a routing protocol that we're going to open source that you can use in different topologies, such as a mesh topology or load balancing and, and all, all your standard needs that you have. Today I just have it as a single path entity for the purposes of this demo. And so I brought that link down. Now I can bring it back up and you'll see that the topology will come back up to the original path here over the, the direct link from uh, the top servers to the bottom and uh, now the data is just going between those two. If you look here where I had it, you can see the data was coming over these ports as well because when I took this link down, which I'll do again, when I take this link down, you can see that the data is now so um, this is the detail of this chassis, right? So we still have this east-west traffic 
Remember, this is this is chassis two, but now you also have that north-south traffic because you that link direct link from the top to the bottom chassis is now gone. So it's now being routed through these other switches through these physical uplink cables. So you have this mesh topology that even though these four these four compute nodes are only doing east-west traffic, you can still do the north-south traffic from other systems uh, pretty seamlessly. So let me bring that back up and bring you back to the topology and then everything should should update and goes away there you go so now this was chassis 2 you can tell by the color and that north south traffic was being transmitted but as soon as i brought that other port back up again it's now going over that one cable that's direct from chassis to chassis and it doesn't have to do any daisy chaining that con concludes my discussion on uh, Red Rock Canyon and the ONP switch software. Again, all this stuff will be released, released later this year. Uh, the software will all be open source and available to the community. Thank you.